Okay, so um, fall semester, a couple years ago, was my first semester here. Um, I took classes Mondays and Wednesdays all day. And um, I rode my bike to school in the morning, had three classes. I would ride home about 4 o'clock and then drive back so I could drive home at night. On one day, it was um, first week of September, so just like a few weeks into school. And um, I was riding my bike home. It was about 4 o'clock. And so first week of September, the days are still long. Um, it's right outside. I'm riding home. I um, ride down Chapman, go down State College, then down Nutwood. Um, I live over in Placentia. So uh, I'm riding my bike um, by Cal State Fullerton. Um, I see the walk signal, so I keep riding. I'm on my bike. Bam, like the car just hits me. It's like a big, um, like a Chrysler. So one of those huge sedans. Okay, so. I'm on my way to class. All I'm, I'm still thinking, like, okay, I gotta get home. I gotta go. Gotta get back to class. And the car hits me, um, backside of my bike, and it kind of crunches me a little bit. And um, the the uh, front wheel turns, and um, the handlebars poke me um, two times. And then um, my phone's like in the intersection. My stuff's everywhere. I get up and get my stuff together, and I'm just. I'm like, man, I'm gonna be late to my class. There's a lot of guys. Um, so I get off the sidewalk and I'm just thinking about like, man, like I'm not even thinking about like if I'm hurt or anything. I'm just like, man, like anyway, this guy he gets out of his car, he's like, Oh, I'm so sorry, he's like kind of old. I don't know if he's a professor or what. <laughs> um, he's like, Oh, you want me to give you a ride home? And I'm like, What? Like what are you talking about? Anyway, um, the police come, firemen come, ambulance comes. It's really embarrassing. Everybody's there. Stop the traffic. It's right next to the freeway. And um, so the police is questioning me, and um, the campus security comes and talks to me, and they figure everything out. So I finally call my mom at the very end. After the officer offers me a ride home from the man who just hit me, he's like, uh, you can either walk home or this guy can give you a ride home. And I'm like, <laughs> really? <laughs> so anyway, I call my mom. I'm like, Mom, I'm okay. Can you come pick me up? My bike's messed up. And she starts crying. I'm like, Don't worry, Mom. I have rock hard abs. Like my bike. <laughs> the handle was bent up 90 degrees. <laughs> so um, anyway, the reason I'm telling your story is because this is not the first time this has happened on this intersection at Nutwood and Salino, right by um, the 57 freeway in front of Cal State Fullerton. I've seen this happen. Before me, I saw it happen a few weeks after me, I saw it happen a couple weeks ago. The firemen, they have a great response team at Cal State Fullerton. Firemen come, policemen, ambulance, everything comes. But in the end, when I got my police rep the police report in the mail, it was my fault. Why? Because I was on my bike in the crosswalk. Fullerton needs lots of protect bicyclists. People preach about riding your bikes, going green, everything, but there's nothing that protects bicyclists. There's bike lanes around here, but they stop like mid-block. There's no detours or anything. So I'm going to talk about why why we need uh, to protect bicyclists. So that's my main example is that it ended up being my fault. It's expensive going to the chiropractor, but I did it. I'm better now. Um, so why did it, so could it have been avoided that accident? Yeah, I could have been um, walking my bike. That's a long stretch from here to my house. I could have up or something or um, taking my car but there's so there's no bike lanes that run all the way from here to placentia there's nothing that um, um, protects me as a cyclist um, see, so there's unsafe riding um, in Orange County there's not o not only here in Fullerton but also um, even in um, placentia where I live just um, a few streets over I, I've seen um, often um, high school and middle school students from Valencia High and Kramer driving up or riding their bikes up Alta Vista in the bike lane on the wrong side of the street. The problem here is that if they're on the wrong side of the street, it's their fault. Should um, even younger, like minors, be at fault because they got hit by a car, even though they're in the bike lane? I don't think so. Admittedly so, they're putting themselves in danger, but um, they don't know the real rules and um, there's nothing that's um, going to protect them. Okay, 
there are sign postings that um, have like the bicycle and it says like share the road. But, um, I don't think those are effective um, in all situations, um, especially over like near Cal State Fullerton and around here. Um, there's not enough, um, like drivers are not safe enough even though like we're forced to share the road but there's nothing that um, that really enforces that. Um, everything ends up being the cyclist's fault. And um, I think that um, signs should be posted either like around schools or the bike lanes should be extended um, throughout the city. Alicia, what did you think? Um, I think it was good. Um, her her um, intro was um, interesting. Her got grabbed my attention. Um, maybe ha maybe um, one improvement I can think of is maybe improve on facts. I think we're getting enforcement. Um, and uh, she seemed nervous, but it's expected. And um, I think she did good, just have more psych courses and um, she seems to get a little lost once in a while, but uh, I think a lot she did good. Okay. Uh, your example that you start with is, is a good story, it's compelling, it draws us in, and it also takes three minutes, so it's a lot of your speech. Your speech is only five minutes and 48 seconds, so half of the speech is basically your introduction. Now, I think you've got, you explain to us what the subject is, you tell us why we're, where you're talking about it, you get us emotionally involved with that story, so it does go a long way. I didn't think that that was automatically going to be a problem, that it was, you know, three minutes, except that what comes after that is underdeveloped. You need a lot more information. You, you mentioned that you've seen some other ex accidents in the same location. Let's get some statistics here, some uh, data from the PD that tells us how frequently they run into bike accidents, particularly uh, near the college. Uh, let's uh, get some data from uh, the uh, AAA talking about the amount of bike lanes that there are in Southern California or even in particular in Fullerton and Placentia and the surrounding communities, you know, those sorts of things so that you can, you know, prove your argument there. You make it one, you make an argument at one point says, oh, there's, you know, signs that say, you know, we share the road, but I don't think they work. Well, why don't you think they work? Because there's been an accident. You know, I guess that's like saying stop signs don't work because sometimes people run them. Well, you know, they work most of the time. They don't work all of the time. The question is how effective could they be? Is there something that would be more effective? Have, have, has, any, has any other community tried something that's been effective to protect bicyclists? Uh, are there other communities that are bike friendly, for instance? Let's look at their experience. What have they done to, to make it more bike friendly? Um, the, the frustration that you must have felt when you get the police report and it's your fault because you were in the crosswalk, well, I guess if I'd been in the street, you know, six inches on the other side and been run over, it wouldn't have been my fault. That seems a little silly to me. The truth of the matter is somebody turning at a corner against the light ought to be responsible for what's going on in front of them. If I was a pedestrian, it would have been that way, even if I wasn't in the crosswalk. So why is it different for somebody in a bicycle? And I think you need to talk about what the assumption are about uh, what the rules of the road are. So I think you need a, a little bit broader argument too. Uh, and you've got a good setup for it. The example works well. It, and I think the first part of the speech, it really helps you a lot because you're talking about something that you have personal experience with and care about. After the opening section though, you get a little bit lost. You're uncertain about exactly where you're going in a couple of places and the, the material's underdeveloped. And I think that it doesn't really pan out quite as well as it could have. So a good start. I like the topic and I, I think you did a good job with the experience, but it needs a lot more development than we're getting. The presentation is mostly solid. Like I said, it became less solid when you got to the part where there's, it's just underdeveloped. Okay, thank you. <laughs>